Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. So I get a lot of requests for making different craft projects and this one is a miniature candy dispenser. Now I have to tell you, I have wanted to make one of these for a long, long time, but Eva R and J.E. suggested that I make this and so I'm gonna make it right now. And I have to show you, it actually does work. Now the reason that it's on a paper plate, and this is part of the part of the supplies you're gonna need, is because it really does shoot out of here. Whoop. Okay, you ready? Watch this. See, is that crazy? <laughs> so you can see they really do shoot out. And I wanted to make sure that there's something to catch them <laughs> because otherwise they really do shoot out. So I'm gonna teach you how to make this fabulous little gumball machine right now. For this project, you will need a clear plastic ornament ball, an eight ounce paper cup, a Dixie cup, candy, a tongue depressor, if you can get jumbo, those are the best, an X-Acto knife, a paper plate, a strong one, duct tape, an end of the roll, glue gun, and cardboard or foam core. First thing we're gonna do here is make our base. And the reason I have this base is just to get things up and off the air. Now, you can find these balls. These balls are great. And you can find these at Michael's Arts and Crafts, uh, Joanne's Fabrics, all of those different kinds of stores. They will make their appearance around Christmas time. They usually start mm, probably towards the end of October, right before you get into Thanksgiving, you'll be able to find these. If not, you can certainly find them online all the time. And now just to show you the difference between the tongue depressor. So this is your regular tongue depressor and this is a jumbo. If you can get the jumbo, those are the best to get, but not everybody can find jumbos and you can certainly find tongue depressors. For our base, what we're gonna do is we are gonna start by measuring the circumference here. We're just gonna draw it around. We're gonna use this inside of the roll as our template, and we're just gonna draw that circle, and then we're just gonna cut it out with our X-Acto knife. Now, I like foam core. Um, I find that it just cuts easier. Um, I just like it, but I can buy it easily at the dollar store. Um, but I do find that not everybody can get foam core, so you know, cardboard is fine too. So I'm just gonna cut all the way around here. Basically, I'm making a little base Pop that out of there. And this is where I'm going to use my hot glue. I'm going to hot glue around the outer edge here. Just be careful when you use the hot glue gun because they are hot. You can burn yourself. Okay, I'm going to put myself put a little ring all the way around the top there. And then you just sit this right on top to make a little closed box on this, there you go, a bowl, pedestal. I'm gonna be using my duct tape to cover this up. And the way I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna cut some strips. And these strips I'm gonna cut into thirds lengthwise. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I wanna use this to cover the top of my pedestal here. I find that when you have small circles like this, it's just best to use strips of tape as opposed to trying to put a big piece over it because it ends up getting all bunchy. So I'm gonna put one strip across in the, middle, in the middle and then I'm gonna make an X like that. And I'm gonna come back and do the same thing, making an X across the X. So I've got it right through the middle. It's gonna end up looking like an asterisk. Asterisk, asterisk. I can never say that word. There are certain words like Dotson. I cannot say that name. The name of the wiener dogs, I can't say that either. Asterisk. Okay, so as you can see, I've got little pie shapes that are left here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut my strips of tape into half and just fill those little pie shapes in. Like that. So you're getting the idea here, I hope. 
basically you're just creating a very nice filled in stand. And then what I'm going to do, once this is all covered, I'm just going to take another strip of tape and go all the way around the outside so that you end up looking like this. This is going to be our base. Now we're actually done with the duct tape. For the bottom part of the gumball machine, we need to make a hole up top here for the gumball. To do that, before I do anything else, I'm just going to pop this portion out. This is what makes it into an ornament, and then it just leaves you this plastic ball. Now, to make sure that I get my circle right, I'm just going to take my Sharpie pen and just color around the edge here. Don't worry, you can use a baby wipe or rubbing alcohol and take it off that way. I'm going to, before you put candy in it, I'm going to just put this right on the top where I want it and just give it a little wiggle, 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 and it's going to make a little outline there. Can you see that little outline? I could come back and fill that in from the outline. So you can see that right in the center there, just like a little bullseye. I'm going to cut in that pizza pie fashion again. So once again, I'm going to take my X-Acto knife, and just like we did the tape, I'm going to cut from one side of the circle to the other, turn it here, I'm going to make an X. So one side of the circle to the middle. Then again, I'm going to come back and make the pizza wedges by making an X shape there. Now, you only get to the center there before it starts to go back in, so you're going to actually just start coming around and make those pizza wedges. There you go. See, now you can push that down, and you've got the perfect place for your ball. Now, like I said, you can come back with a, either a baby wipe or a rubbing alcohol and clean off all that, just so you don't have ink. And one thing here, just get this. One thing here is if you wanted to make this as a cute little, just like, um, like a, a favor, and you didn't want it to actually work, look how cute this is. If you just take your candy and put it in here, let's see if I can grab this one. So I can show you what I mean. Let's take it like that, put the topper on, and you can have this, this would be the cutest little like seating card for people. Just put that right in there like that and have that as just like a little candy centerpiece. Wouldn't that be cute for each person? A little place marker. And they get to take it home with them when they leave. How fun would that be? But us, we're gonna make it actually release candy. So the next thing we need to do is figure out where our tongue depressor is gonna go. And what I like to do is just take my, take my ornament, and just kind of put it in there and put my hand in here. That's my finger at the bottom. And I'm just going to mark it with my finger on the outside here. And just use the X-Acto knife to make just a very thin cut. And you're going to make it as big as your tongue depressor. Now because most of the tongue depressors are going to be these, I'm going to use the skinny one for you guys. So this is going to slide right on in. And you want to mark this, once you've got it slid in, you want to mark this about an inch out from where it goes. You can use a pen here so you can see it. And then we're going to pull this out. And with my X-Acto knife, I'm just going to cut. So we call this scoring. I'm very careful with your X-Acto knife here because this is where one of those danger zones where you could actually get and you just break that off like that. And then this just gets slid right in there. That's gonna keep the candy in. And when you pull, so here, let me see if you can see that. Can you see that? See, when you pull that, it releases the hole, and when you put it in place, it closes up the hole. Releases and puts it in. Now we're gonna just make a small cut down here on the bottom 
where we can let the candy escape. So I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. I'm going to line it up. Watch your fingers here. You could also use scissors here if you wanted to. But I'm just making like a little flap. And do watch your fingers. Because you got to be careful when using the X-Acto knife here. Watch those fingers that are inside the cup. And again, scissors might be the best bet for you. But there you go. So now you have your whole setup, and now all we need to do is put the dispenser part in. For the dispenser part, oops, you're just going to use a paper cup. And this would be a great place to have scissors as well. You just take your X-Acto knife here, and you're just going to go straight down one side and straight down the other side. And then we're going to cut straight across the back side. So you're cutting your cup in half. And then put glue all on the back side here. So I'm just going to put glue right along the back side here. on the edges. And you're going to reach in and you're just going to glue this to the back portion. And then we're going to take two drops of glue right here on the sides. And can you see that? I'm going to put a drop of glue here. Let me show you. And a drop of glue here. Right there and right there. That's to catch those edges of that cup. See? One there, one there, and you glued the back. We're going to let that dry really good and in place. And while we do that, we can get ready for the next and last step, basically, which is to put our candy in. Yay! Everybody likes the candy part. So we can use a little cup. And I'm going to put M&Ms into this one. And these paper cups are great for putting the M&Ms in. You can fill this up as much as you want, depending on how much of a sugar rush you want. That's probably good. And I bet you we're just about ready over here. You nice and solid? Good. OK, I'm going to actually glue this whole thing to the uh, base here. But before I do that, I'm going to just check and make sure that this delivery system is working and in the right position. Because if I need to, uh, if I need to change anything, I want to do that before I glue it onto here. So turn it upside down and then pop the top on. And then flip her over like that. Now, sometimes you have to give it a little shake just to get the candy into the right position. But then you pull and it looks like it's working. So now we can just glue it to here. And you don't need too much. Just glue right around the edge, right around like that. And stick it right on top. Glue that in place. And there you have it, your very own candy dispenser. OK, and you just pull that out, and they come out. Isn't that fun? For more great suggestions that come from viewers like you, check us out at sophie-world.com. And if you like us, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share us with your friends. And make sure that you become a subscriber so that you can be the first on the block to find out what we're creating. More great things are coming your way from sophie-world.com.